God could not have given us a better school. So I feel like I do have a family there with a good support system. And I have a 24-year-old, Eric Gardner. He is special need and he's mental health. Eric graduated from Sycamore High School. Eric also goes to UC Blue Ash, but he's been working at UPS for six years. Very independent. And then I have TJ, who's 21, and he goes to UK. He went to Sycamore schools all the way up until he got to high school. And then I have Kiara, came to me five years old, couldn't read, couldn't write. So she came to me when she was five, she's nine. And then I have Sweet Nate, who got a, a 21 year old mind, but seven years old. My son Eric and TJ, they all went to private school. But I noticed Eric was struggling a lot in elementary school. So I said, you know what, I need to stop paying all this tuition and find a good school district that has an excellent such education program. And that's how we decided to move to Sycamore School. Anything I needed to help, even the superintendent of Sycamore School called me on my cell phone and said, you know, I heard by Eric Gardner, what do you need from me? What do you need? We don't want him to fail. And they always have taken the extra step with my kids, my older kids and my younger kids. When Kiara came, Nate was three years old, so he was in preschool. So when she came at five years old, the school was so good where they hurry up and got all her, her records as far as the different head starts they went, she, was, she attended, and got her ready, ready for school. And they assessed her right away and said, you know what? She don't need only a half a day kindergarten. She need a full day. Kiara just feel a sense of, I belong to a family. Not, I'm going from one shelter to one shelter. When I'm going to eat. Now I feel like she's more confident and where she could really shine a little more in her academics. She loves school. That girl loves school. She tries so hard. Nate struggles with not seeing his father. So it's just, there was an inconsistency a lot in his life. Well, one minute the father's here, one minute the father's not there. And I think he was, when he was coming to school, he was showing that his behavior. I was counting on a day when I get the call, Nate can't come back. That's what I was counting. It didn't happen. They was able to deal with his behavior. And, and I think the reason why is because we was consistent where every uh, week we knew, we, we communicate, do some stuff in the classroom as far as the sensory, you know, stimulation, just to kind of help him. But I think now, since he's able to control his body a little bit more, and able to focus a little bit more, he's able to pick up on the academic a little bit better speed, like his peers. So now he's so confident in his reading that he can read a whole Dr. Seuss book like this. They just feel safe, you know. They, they know that they got a group of teachers or adults at the school that would just bend over backwards for them. I was at Sycamore my entire life, uh, like from kindergarten all the way through. Um, and I really feel like it uh, shaped me. Uh, right now I go to the University of Chicago. Um, I just finished my first year. I've created my own startup with my best friend from second grade, um, who also was a great student at Sycamore, um, Nick Hershey. We recognized that our education at Sycamore was like pretty amazing um, and that we had access to a lot of things that maybe other students wouldn't have access to. We wanted to create a tool um, that could help students um, from everywhere just do something simple like write a research paper better. It allows you to search, um, save, and cite your sources more efficiently. We couldn't have done it without um, the opportunities that Sycamore gave us. Um, what I think Sycamore does um, better than most schools that I know is they have great 
teachers and great leaders in every single department. Leif was born in 2008 and he was a healthy, happy baby boy, no problems. And then when he was five months old, he got a little bump on his head and we weren't sure what it was. And it was on a Friday and that day the doctor told me that my son had 90% cancer. And they took us to the hospital that day and um, we didn't go home for two years. He was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia and uh, it was very aggressive. So he had six months of chemotherapy to try and get it under control and they couldn't. So after six months they realized he needed a bone marrow transplant, which was done in September 2009. The leukemia went into remission, however he suffered many complications from it, one of which was the graft versus host disease. We contacted uh, several hospitals across the US and uh, Los Angeles Children's Hospital was the one that was willing to help us. We sold everything that we had. We, we needed to come back with quite a large sum of money. And then December last year, uh, we were struck again. He was diagnosed with a secondary cancer, a skin cancer. We were only supposed to come for an evaluation and then go back to LA. Um, but we just fell in love with Cincinnati. We realized we were in Sims Elementary. So we went for an interview there and we got him enrolled. And oh my goodness, honestly, it, it was the best thing that ever happened to Reef. The first day of school, we walked through the doors, Reef turned around, waved goodbye to daddy, and off he went down the hallway. He was, he was so confident, and so it was right. It was the right time, it was the right school, it was the right people. It just, as I said, it couldn't have been more perfect. And literally, he, he walked through those doors, and it was like he'd grown up. You know, the school with their, with their different programs that are especially for Reef and his needs, um, you know, they introduced a speech device so that he could start to communicate. And that's been amazing because it's given him, he was so frustrated because people just didn't understand what he was trying to say. And now with the speech device, he's able to communicate and in school, he's able to, to kind of choose colors and shapes and things that he wouldn't be able to verbalize. He's now, they've opened this door for him to communicate with the world. How do you feel about going back to school, Ruthie? The fact that he was so accepted at Sims, I think, has boosted his confidence and made his school experience a wonderful one that I think is going to be a stepping stone for him to enjoy the, his school for the rest of his life. Three words to describe Sycamore. Thirteen incredible years. Proactive, diverse, love. Outstanding, accommodating, and just angels, just real angels on earth.